Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about multi-trait genotype idotype distance index using R software. This that means a multi-trait genotype idotype distance uh, index allows us a more efficient and accurate treatment recommendation based on the desired or undesired characteristics for the studied uh, uh, crop like maize, wheat, barley, oat, whatever it is. So I already uh, save uh, import my data and my data is the first column is uh, genotype the second column is block the rest that means starting from the flo end with uh, hisr the response variables or the dependent uh, variables so the first step is to run the package so we will use the metan package so you have to submit this one by calling uh, the function library then submit to our studio and if you have in the package you have to uh, load from the cran so the first step is running that one then creating a mixed model by considering genotype as random effect using the function of the gamm so under the parenthesis the data means it is uh, your data maybe x maybe k maybe u it is uh, maybe maize or wheat it's your data name so in our case our data name is uh, data and the uh, genotype uh, gene means it is the columns that contain the genotypes the rep means the columns that contains a block or the replications and the r the resp means it is the response variable so if you want to uh, run all the response variables that found in your data set so you have to you know, say or write everything then uh, let's run this one yeah that object data is not uh, found okay um, why this happen let's okay uh, let's import uh, my data mm, uh, here is my data yeah yes yes then here is uh, it's better to run it's work now yeah so as you can see here all our statistical significance if you see the p value it is um, highly significant highly significant highly significant highly significant it's less than 0.001 so it's highly significant so it's good let's uh, proceed to other step for example in case if you need the blobs for the genotypes so you have to use the function a uh, you can assign a name that you want and you have to use this uh, uh, function that means get model so this is a shortcut and you can get the blood easily so you have to assign you have to write the model the model is what you created here by considering genotype as random effect and replication as a fixed effect then uh, write the blood under quotation so type this and submit to our studio and uh, one of the question of many um, uh, many of my followers is when you just write when you just type this one and there are with 13 uh, more rows are left and again two more variables in the column are uh, not displayed so to solve this uh, you have to use the print function and you have to specify the n for example our genotype is 44 so if i type uh, 45 yes if i type 45 or let's say 40 let's say 50 yes, 50 then uh, i'll get all the uh, Results, but still with two more variables that means the response variables. Uh, so it is better to do this and submit it again. Yeah, it's clear. So again, this by uh, by this way you can uh, solve uh, this uh, problem. So uh, let's see uh, one by one the result of this one. So these are the uh, blip. If you are if you are interested to get the blob, you can easily uh, print the blob for a genotype. So our aim is or our target is not that. So no need to bother about that. And uh, um, coming to the computing of the MGIDI, MGIDI stands for the multi genotype genotype distance index. So how to do that? You have to use a function MGIDI function which is built in the uh, metan package. And if you want to uh, further or detailed information regarding to MGDI so type this uh, MG sorry MGIDI so type this and submit to our studio then you will get detailed information about the multi trait uh, genotype additive distance index yeah here yeah so you can get 
detailed description about the multi-thread genotype archetype distance index. Then, uh, so by this way, we can compute or perform the uh, MGIDI index. So submit this to our studio. Then, on the basis of this, we select the selected genotype is here genotype 32, genotype 15, genotype 18, genotype 9, genotype 11, genotype 41, and genotype uh, 37 are uh, selected. Uh, let's see some uh, details uh, over here you can as you can see here there is the principal components there are 14 principal uh, components but we have to select the five principal components because when we see the eigenvalues greater than one are five principal components one two three four five so the five eigenvalues indicate to select the uh, um, five principal uh, components so by this way we have to reduce our data to five principal components even when we check the uh, cumulative variance is around 87 uh, uh, percent so that's uh, sufficiently uh, enough to represent whole data set without losing any information additionally when uh, as you can see here is there is a var there is fa one up to fa5 so the var means that, that means it is a response variable of the trace of the our uh, crop like planted spikeling this number of seed per spike and etc then the factor is the factor the trait were grouped in two so by we have five uh, traits uh, sorry we have five uh, uh, groups the first one is fa1 so in the FA1 is here we have to select 0 0.88, 0 0.84, that means the SL 0 0.71, uh, the NGS even 0 0.71, and the GMS is 0 0.58 by considering uh, greater than 0 0.55. So by this way, for the first factor, we can uh, group the trait or the variable into in this form. And all are, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 are there. Uh, positive uh, loading and the, there is no negative loading in the F1 while in coming to the FA2 so and this, under this uh, um, here is 0 0.85 HW is its negative load and again HI is uh, negative load which is 0 0.65 so uh, this trait that means the HI as well as the HW will fall into this group and you can continue for the FA3 here is the FLH, the SH, and the PH are categorized in this uh, group, and uh, three of them are uh, negative. And you can continue for the rest. Then uh, further, you can see here is selection differential, and the, this means the uh, X or X naught is uh, denoted the original population mean, while the X means S select stands for the selected. Uh, so it's the mean of selected uh, genotype SD is the selection differential with respect to SD uh, percentage and here is the percent heritability and SAG is the selection the uh, selection uh, gain and as well as the selection gain in terms of percentage and you can see also the sense as well as the uh, goal so the sense means it is the desired selection sense and the goal is selection gain uh, that much the desired uh, sense so 100 means it is yes zero means it is uh, no so these are some detailed information about uh, uh, the mg uh, idi uh, analysis and on the basis of this genotype 32 15 18 9 11 41 and 37 are selected and furthermore if you want just uh, to plot the MGDI index uh, in order if you want to represent the graphical approach so you have to use this uh, card so let's run this one object uh, P is not uh, yeah, sorry I have to select both yeah so we have five uh, uh, factors FA 1 2 3 4 and 5 then again, the genotypes are represented in this way. So these are the strengths and the weakness view plot. And furthermore, if you want just to see the selected uh, genotypes on the base of M and MGDI, 
so you have to use this one then run yeah so as you can see here we are expecting uh, the the one with the red the one that displayed with the red are selected so g32 15 18 9 11 41 and 37 are selected and this the red circle is help us to uh, uh, or help us to separate selected from and uh, then selected one moreover if you want to display the previous one in this fault in one form you have to use this function that means uh, p1 uh, plus uh, p2 so this helps to display both picture uh, that means both plot in one uh, form so this is uh, all about today's tutorial regarding to the mgdi index using our software as usual if you have any question regarding to my tutorial you can address me through my email